everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's just Clarice and today's video is going to be a chatty get ready with me. And the look I have in mind is very much inspired by fall with berry tones and a matte base. So if you're interested, keep on watching. Without any further ado, let's dive on into today's video. Alrighty guys, so first things first, I'm gonna get started with my base. Now normally I would start with my eyes, but I just kind of feel like switching things up today. And because we're going for such a matte look, when I was doing my skincare, I really made sure that I packed on the hydration. So I went in with my daily facial moisturizer, really making sure to double up in the areas of my face that get the most dry. I have combination skin with dry patches, and I did under eye cream because I tend to have drier under eyes. So. If you are someone who tends to shy away from matte products, I would just highly recommend trying more hydrating products in your skincare and then see if that makes a difference when you go in with the matte makeup. So we're gonna start with primer and I'm gonna go in with a mix of the Too Faced Hangover Primer. This is really good for hydrating. It's infused with coconut water. It smells like coconuts and it's just so, so good. And then I'm also going to focus this in the center of my face. This is the Milani Prime Perfection Face Primer. It is a hydrating, oil-free formula. The reason I want to use this in the center of my face is because it minimizes the appearance of redness and pores. I feel like you guys are too far away. I might zoom you in a little bit. <laughs> give you a second. That's a bit better, right? You can kind of see what I'm doing. <laughs> and when you're using a pore minimizing product, it's always good to pat in rather than rub because that's really going to make all the difference. And then we're going to take the Too Faced Hangover Primer all over the face. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. If my voice sounds a bit off, um, I apologize. I am still getting over a cold. I've been like on and off sick for the last couple weeks. I got really sick a few weeks ago. I was actually planning on filming and posting right before Halloween and then um, I got really sick and I had to stay home and I just couldn't film and that whole weekend after I couldn't film and it was just a whole thing so I'm sorry I've been away for so long but I'm back now. <laughs> so next I'm gonna go in with my base. This is the CoverGirl Clean Matte BB Cream and it is formulated for oily skin types but I think it also works really well for me and I'm more combination normal. And I have mine in the shade 530 Light Medium. This is actually a really good shade match for me. When I go for matte products, I do tend to like a lighter coverage just because it's something I can build up more. When I go full coverage and matte, it tends to not look the most flattering on my skin. It often looks a bit heavy. Oh, and I'm applying this with the um, Flawless Face Brush by e.l.f. Flawless Face Brush. I'm using a brush so I can get the most coverage out of the BB cream. This brush actually works really well. It just blends in liquid and cream products really nicely. I feel like I sound so weird <laughs> because I'm like a little bit stuffed up. Just in general not feeling 100%. Ooh, my food's arriving soon. Yeah, just letting you guys know, I will be taking a lunch break at some point. So we're gonna go in with some concealers now. I'm gonna be taking my ColourPop No Filter Concealer in the shade Light 16. This is my highlighting shade. This is a very matte concealer, but it looks healthy matte. Like it doesn't dry me out. It doesn't cause any wrinkles. And then I'm gonna be taking my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer, and this is in the shade Light 10. This is actually a closer match to my skin tone, so I'm just gonna be applying this wherever I think I need a little extra coverage. Normally I would go in with my Pro Glow Concealer by L'Oreal, but that one is very glowy, and I just don't think it would go with the matte look that we're going for. I'm applying a little bit here on the bridge of my nose because I have a scar there. I don't know if I ever told this story, <laughs> um, but basically I was, you know, horsing around like little kids do when I was around like, five years old and I fell and I hurt my nose and I've just always had a scar there ever since <laughs> it's not much of a story but it was really funny because my mom was not happy about that scar <laughs> my mom is the kind of person that when kids get hurt even if it's just like a bump like a bump or a bruise she really doesn't like it she gets upset because you know she doesn't like when kids get hurt <laughs> She can't even watch a horror movie where kids are getting hurt. Like, she didn't like it at all. <laughs> and there's a tip too. If you're doing your concealer and you just take it and blend it out over your eyelid, you're also prepping your eye base too, so yeah. Kill two birds with one stone. 
All right, so my base is done. We're looking pretty matte, but now I'm just gonna apply a little bit of powder because my skin does feel a bit tacky and we don't want any of our powder products to skip. I'm gonna go in with the Cody Airspun Loose Face Powder. This is in the shade Naturally Neutral. I'm just gonna apply this to most of my face. Speaking of face powders, I'm actually in the market for a new one. The two I've been considering, let me know in the comments down below if you've tried either of these and what your overall thoughts were. But I'm thinking about either getting the Huda Beauty Loose Face Powder in the shade Pound Cake, because based off of her website, that's best for fair to medium skin tones and it's good for brightening. Or I'd be getting the Milk Blurring Face Powder and I would probably get mine in either the light translucent shade or the medium translucent shade. I'm not sure, I'd actually have to swatch both of them on my hand in store. I'm debating between those two because they're supposed to like blur your skin for like a flawless airbrush look and they're both really lightweight and finely milled. I just haven't found my holy grail face powder yet. The Cody Airspun is fine, especially as far as like a drugstore face powder goes, but it's a little too powdery for me, which sounds ridiculous because it is a face powder. But like you can see, it blends out nicely, but it does have a very powdery finish. Whereas something that would be a bit more finely milled would blend more easily into the skin. My food's here! I'm gonna take a break, I'll be right back. Okay, lunch break is over. While I was away, I also wiped any of the concealer and foundation that was on my lips off and reapplied my lip balm. I also sprayed a little bit of the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water um, Set and Refresh Spray onto my face to help melt that powder into the skin. And now we are moving on to bronzer, highlight, and a little bit of blush. For bronzer today, I'm gonna be going in with my favorite, the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. Mine is in the shade Sunkissed. And I'm just taking that on a fluffy bronzer brush. This one is by Farah and this is their 50F. I'm actually looking for a new bronzer brush as well. I like this one, but the handle's a little bit flimsy. I do like the shape of the brush itself though. It's nice and big and fluffy. The top is good, but the handle itself is not my favorite. Just add a little bit of warmth to the skin. But now I'm gonna go in with a little bit of highlighter just on my cheekbones and my temples. This is the Shimmering Highlight Powder by e.l.f. and mine is in the shade Sunset Glow. And I'm taking it on a brush I got in one of my Ipsy bags. This is by SL Miss Glam. And this is their SG62 brush. I really like this for applying a highlight. It's very precise. Just because we're matte doesn't mean we can't still glow. <gasps> I'm looking at my Butter Blush. This is one of my favorite blushes and it's broken. When did that happen? I'm so upset. I recently had another blush break on me too. I'm running out of blushes. I need to buy more blush. It's just a sign from the universe. Okay, let's see. Do I have another matte blush? Um, oh, okay. So I quickly ran and grabbed my Build Your Own Palette by ColourPop and I'm gonna take this sort of neutral mauve shade and use that as my blush today. So I'm gonna go in with this more densely packed but still fluffy blush brush. This is by Firma Beauty. It is their 102 brush. And I like to apply my blush after my highlight because then it just blends in more nicely. And now I'm gonna go in with that spray again. So see, now our base is matte without being flat. There's some dimension to the face. All right, so now we're gonna go into the eye look and I'm gonna zoom you guys in for that so you can really see what I'm doing. And I'm gonna be mostly using the Blushing Berries palette by Dose of Colors. I actually forgot that I had this palette. And then it was in the BoxyCharm subscription box in October. I was watching Kathleen Lights and Jackie Ina. They both did a review of their boxes and they both received this palette and that reminded me of it and how much I like it and how pigmented and beautiful these colors are. I mean, it's absolutely perfect for fall. So I'm gonna be doing a look primarily using this. I'm also gonna go in with my Profusion Naturals palette just for a couple of those more like neutral crease and brow bone shades. Let's see where the winds take us and um, yeah, let's just zoom you guys in. So I'm gonna go ahead and put on some eye tapes. These are by e.l.f. They come in a pack with about 40 strips. 
and you can actually make them last a really long time. So if you just take one strip at a time and you rip it in half, you can use it on both eyes. This is actually a tip I learned from Shalik CXH on YouTube. I'm going to link her in the description below. So I'm just gonna put those right along my bottom lash line, lining it up with the edge of my eyebrow. And I'm just gonna start by going over the full eyelid with a really soft neutral shade. So I'm just gonna take a fluffy brush like this and I'm gonna start with the Naturals palette and I'm gonna take this light sort of peachy creamy shade called Silky and I'm just gonna pat that all over the eyelid. Oh, I haven't even done my eyebrows yet. Oh my God, okay. Let me do my eyebrows first and then we'll get going with the eyes. Okay, I'm back, my eyebrows are done. Looking, maybe not twins, but at least related. <laughs> so just going in with that Silky shade and then I'm just gonna take this shade, Heavenly, which is like a pinky, peachy sort of shade, and that'll be my transition shade. I'm gonna take this right along my crease, but sort of above it as well. I've already been filming this for over 30 minutes. I don't really have much to do today. Um, I might be going to see a movie later, and I don't even know which movie we're gonna see. We still haven't seen The Joker. When I say we, I'm referring to me and my boyfriend. There's also the new Zombieland just came out. The new, um, I think it's called Doctor Sleep, the sequel to The Shining. The new Terminator, like there's a lot of options. I know we're gonna go see one of those. You know, do the dinner and a movie thing. Besides that, just some chores to do. It's a long weekend, so remember and stay long weekend. Next, going into the Blushing Berries palette, I'm gonna take this shade and I'm gonna pop that into my crease as well, maybe a little bit below it. I'm gonna take that on another fluffy blending brush, but this one's a little bit smaller. Now these shades are very, very pigmented. It's so pretty. The way I'm applying this is I'm tapping in, tapping off the excess, and then just going in really softly and lightly. So I'm not putting down too much color, I'm just building it up and blending as I go. And if you're wondering what brush this is, this is also by SL Miss Glam. This is their L50 brush. Also got this in an Ipsy bag. So next I'm gonna take this second deeper red shade. This is more of like a muted red and this is Roseberry. The first one was Berry Chic. And I'm just gonna focus this more in like the outer corner and then softly taking that into the crease as well but just a little bit lower down than that shade before. I'm just sort of flicking it out at the end where it meets the edge of the eye tape. And now we're gonna take this rich berry shade. This is Berry Pop. I'm going to pack this just in the outer corner, blend out, and then I'm gonna take that light peachy shade again from the front, and I'm gonna pack that from the inner corner out. and I'm actually gonna take that middle shade. I'm gonna pop that in the middle of the two. Let's take off these eye tapes. I'm just gonna clean it up a bit using a clean, fluffy brush. Looking very fiery. I'm just gonna take a small little pencil brush like this one by e.l.f. and I'm just going to dip into those shades along the bottom. So we'll start with the darker one in the outer corner. And then we're gonna take that second darkest shade I'm just going to take another one of those pencil brushes and take the lightest shade, apply that to the inner corner, but I'm also just bringing it and blending those other shadows. Okay, we're going to take a little bit of liner. I'm going to take this dark brown liner by Maybelline and I'm going to apply this to my waterline. That looks a lot better. In case you're wondering what brown eyeliner I was using, I was using the Maybelline and this is their Unstoppable Eyeliner in Espresso. This one is actually water resistant. And now I'm going in with my Maybelline Lash Sensational Full Fan Effect Mascara. This is a black mascara, very volumizing. Has the curved wand. The underside of the curve where the br bristles are a little bit shorter and more tightly packed. I go in with that first, just going from the base to the tip of the lashes. And then I like to flip it over and with the more curved 
longer, more spread out bristles. I go a little back and forth, mostly focusing on the tips, and this creates more volume. There are the lashes. So now all that I have left to do is the lips, and I'm gonna be going in with this brown lipstick by Huda Beauty. This is in the shade Flirt. This is one of their matte liquid lips. And the reason I'm going in with this shade is, given how dramatic the eyes are, I want the lips to look a little bit more on the neutral toned down side. And there we go. There is our full look. It's definitely more on the dramatic side than what I tend to do for every day, but I'm actually pretty happy with how it turned out. So let me know what you guys think of this look in the comments down below. What would you have done differently? That is it for today's video. If you liked it, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up and let me know what other kind of makeup videos you wanna see in the comments down below. Hit that subscribe button if you wanna see more stuff from me. I try to post new videos weekly. Uh, I've been a little off on that lately, but we'll see. Hopefully I get some more out very, very soon and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!